Former USA captain Dan Lyle played in the 1999 and 2003 World Cups and has fond memories of both. Back for Dalzell, Dan Lyle on the crash. Is he there? He is. I think 99 was a great experience, um, particularly when we played at, at Thoman Park uh, in Australia. I think we scored the only try that Australia gave up that year. And they are going to get a try. What a roar for Juan Grubler. 2003 in Australia, when they brought it all together in one country, it, it felt like you were part of something really big. It felt like uh, all the teams that you, were, that you competed against, of course, great stadiums, great environments, and, and when they got into the community, they did a great job. And, and I think it really, uh, I think that World Cup really uh, set, a, set a, new, a new tone, you know, and, uh, and I think the World Rugby has and, and taken it on from there. As an American, you don't grow up thinking about the Rugby World Cup. Um, I think, though, however, that this next one in England, um, there, there's been some guys that have come through high school seeing Americans playing in World Cups, watching it on television, and I think it's, 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 it's probably a goal for some of the guys in this t on the TV now versus when, when the, probably the guys that I played with, you know, it wasn't as apparent, and, and that was the newness of the World Cup, as well as uh, we're in that second, third generation of, of real rugby in America. So who from the present Eagles squad does he think will make an impact in England this year? I think Samu Manoa was in the uh, top 100. He was lucky 21 in the uh, Telegraph uh, top 100 players that are out there right now. He's a phenomenal player, you know, and uh, everything about him is, is, is wonderful to, to watch. Blaine Scully uh, is uh, at Leicester and uh, took his chance and has run with it and, um, you know, is a uh, is is a, a great ambassador, a wonderful player, and uh, came out of uh, one of our best programs in the University of California, Berkeley, and that's a that's been something that's been you know really great to see. I think Chris Wiles is a, is a statesman. He's great for us, great for the game. And uh, Danny Barrett, and I think he brings a dimension uh, to six or seven. You know, that's that athletic, uh, but he's got a great rugby brain uh, and uh, and able to put the ball through his hands and, and that acceleration. That's really good, great. So um, I look forward to those three slash four guys uh, doing well. We're almost to the point where um, our, our team can have some expectations of performing. You know, there's, there's a number of athletes now that are playing, a uh, number of our players are playing in the UK and France and other places. We're playing more games than we have and so forth. But the consistency of getting together, the, the, the lack of a domestic competition uh, are not excuses that our team uses and I certainly don't use and we didn't use when I played. But it's the, it's the, it's the elephant in the room. I have high, high hopes for this team. I, I think there's a lot of creative and good players. But, um, you know, we'll temper that with, um, I think we're 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 getting in this we're getting into the blocks.